now that I'm a more mature person, perhaps I should change up my look. I don't know where to start, though. Do I, do buy, I a buy a new wardrobe? wardrobe? Am I supposed, Am I supposed to, cut to cut my, my hair? hair? Maybe I'll Maybe get a I'll facelift. Get I know. Makeup. <laughs> Let's get started. First of all, I want you to know that this is the first time I have ever gone on camera with no makeup. I can't believe I'm doing it. Do a couple of disclaimers. I only have the primer in e.l.f. And the second disclaimer is I can't believe it, but I forgot to get blush. So what we'll do for the blush is by Youngblood and it is Sunset Lunar Dust. The last thing that I am going to have to use with just one brand is concealer. And let's get started. Like I said, I only have the one primer, the e.l.f. Looking at other tutorials, they have put on the primer with their fingers, which um, I thought you were supposed to use a, uh, a sponge or a brush, and apparently not. Okay, so I don't usually wear primers, so I think I'm doing it right. Anyway. I'm trying. I'm gonna do on one side of my face, Estee Lauder, which is my usual brand, but I wanted to try new brands. And one thing that attracted me to e.l.f., well, a couple of things. Number one is that they are cruelty-free. They never test on animals. And to me, that's very important. I hope it's important to everyone. And also because they are significantly cheaper than Estee Lauder. So having said that, here's my usual Estee Lauder that I wear, I've worn this for so many years. Double wear, stay in place, makeup. I wear it in Pebble. This is a buildable makeup, so if you want more coverage, you just put a little more on. <laughs> well, I already messed up. I started putting the Estee Lauder double wear on both sides of my face. <laughs> so I messed this up. Here, I'm gonna try again. You know what I admire? The people who do the makeup tutorials on, on YouTube now, a lot more than I did, because this is not easy. On the other side of my face, I'm going to do the e.l.f. foundation. Like I said, I kind of messed up and put a little bit of the Estee Lauder, so what am I gonna do? I know I could wash my face again and start over, but I don't wanna do that. Next thing we have for the other side of my face is e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation, oil-free, medium coverage, 210 natural. I like the bottle. Oh, wait, I didn't show you. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to get these things in focus. I see now why people do this. I've never done a makeup tutorial. This, this is cool. This one has a pull tab to get it open. I think I got the defective one. Oh, there we go. Maybe I put too much. Let me, okay. Oh, I might've put way too much of this on. At least it covers over the double wear that I mistakenly put on my entire face. I kind of like it. This one's nice. I like this one. So I have Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation on my on this side of my face, and then I have the Elf Flawless Satin Foundation. I would have to say that's kind of satiny. There's a point for Elf. I've always thought that you are supposed to put the concealer on under the foundation, but I've seen a couple of tutorials where they do it the opposite, and I figured I would just give that a try. I didn't get a concealer in Estee Lauder, so I'm going to... Use the e.l.f. on both sides, to be fair. This is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. It has a nice dough-shaped, can you see it? Is that what they call it? Dough-shaped, like the foot of a dough. I love doughs. Here and here. Is that the right place? Boy, can I use a concealer? 
That is awesome. I don't use concealers. Maybe I'm going to start wearing more makeup. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this. I'm actually enjoying it. This is fun. I know I need a little concealer for in here the um i'm darker in here especially on this side i've noticed that so but that's what concealers are for well maybe that does work to put it on uh after the foundation to me that's an unconventional way to do it i've never heard of doing it that way I said I've seen tutorials where they've done that for the setting powder on one side of my face I've got the elf halo glow it's tricky they have um, this little you have to get the plastic oh, come on. <laughs> after you um, blow your face off okay so it's got the little sifter once you get the plastic off and don't you know inhale it all turn it upside down then a little bit comes through on the in the sifter oh my god this is the most <laughs> right. fine We're putting this on the elf side of my face for the other side of my face Estee Lauder perfecting loose powder in light medium. I don't normally wear a lot of makeup on an everyday basis. Oh, this one has another trick opening too. You've got to pull the tab, but it's one of those. Oh my God, I'm going to get powder all over myself again. <coughs> oh my God, this one has a say. They really don't want people to tamper with these things, which is good. So the Estee Lauder, I have another, a different powder brush clean one not as large as the one on the other side but oh my god this one's oh <laughs> I, don't think... I don't know if this is working out so well i hope you're having fun i'm having fun the estee lauder i have to say is um holy crap it's airborne it i'm afraid of um inhaling this stuff my hair fell down, oh well. Next is eyeshadow. I love playing with this makeup. We're gonna start on the e.l.f. side. And what I have is e.l.f. Clay, what's it called? Clay Eyeshadow Palette. Saturday Sunsets, how fun is that? When I opened it, it had this plastic over it. So we're gonna do it that way. We're gonna follow along, follow along. So we're gonna start with the base. I'm liking these e.l.f. products. They're, there's a softness about them, very easy to work with, and they're pretty. They have, they have pigment without being, you know, too deep. And on to the next one, which is this one here. It's for the, the crease. Am I putting too much on? <laughs> I don't know, maybe when your eyes, you know, mature uh, and they kind of get a little more droopy. Maybe I should have, um, for my particular mature eyes, maybe I should have um, not put it down so low. The next one is, it says for the lid, that one there. That's pretty, I like that one. It has a little... Um, sparkle to it okay I kind of like that one this one is the it says line can you see that color it looks more purple on camera I think but it's oh it's a pretty color like a like a raisin I don't know if it's something that I should be using as we go along in life you don't want to put anything that's like heavy and draws the eye down um, yeah, I might have, I might not want to 
might not want to do that one. So I did a, a little bit. And then the last one in this palette is a highlighter. So let's do a little highlighting. Get my hair out of the way. I don't know if I put enough of this on. I don't think it has um, a lot of pigment at least not this particular collection. Onto the Estee Lauder eyeshadow on this side. My Estee Lauder side, Pure Color Envy. Now I know that one has a lot of pigment. All of their, uh, the Estee Lauder Pure Color line is heavily pigmented. Sculpting Eyeshadow Five Color Palette. I tried to get um, similar palette colors Estee Lauder palette, e.l.f. palette, similar. You know, once again, it's like poofy. It's, it's, oh, it, I can't think of the word, but it's uh, flying. Maybe I did the wrong one for the crease. Okay. Eh, I don't know. Once again, I'm liking the e.l.f. better. Oh, maybe this is the crease. Ooh, it's dark. Okay, or I have this area here that's lighter. Maybe it's a little more camouflage. That's better, that, that helped. I used that color there. The lid color is this one here. This stuff really is kind of um, glowing. It's, it's like, annoying and it's getting my eye. I forgot to use the highlighter the um, in the Estee Lauder. I just, I'm disappointed in the Estee Lauder. I'm thinking it's time to move on to something newer, cheaper, e.l.f. maybe. On to eyebrows. This is the e.l.f. It's a duo. I might have gone too light on this one. Just kind of brush it on. It's kind of like a mascara. Back in the 70s and 80s, it was more a thing to really over pluck your eyebrows, and I did. My mom told me at the time, they won't grow back. And for the most part, they did grow back, um, but not, not enough. It's simple, I like this. That is the e.l.f eyebrow. Now the pricey one, Estee Lauder, and I should be giving you these prices and I apologize that I'm not doing that. This one is a duo and once again I tried to get similar colors. The Brow Multitasker. Ooh, there's the the brush. Okay, on one side and on this side, oh, is oh, like a Crayon? Oh, I'm doing. <laughs> I'm forgetting which side I'm doing. It's not too dark. Certainly darker than the uh, Elf. Draw it on, and then brush it out with the other side. So, hey, look, I'm getting eyebrows. Now this one, I do like. Maybe I just needed to get the e.l.f. in a little bit darker color. I like this though, that you draw it on. In my eyebrows, you know, like everybody, your your face isn't completely even on both sides. Blush time, young blood, lunar dust. I don't have an e.l.f. or an Estee Lauder blush. I'm just gonna use this one. I also don't have um, contour. I don't really do that. So, you know, this is kind of a simplified test. On the one hand, it's more makeup than I normally wear, but on the other hand, it's less than a lot of people. All of you people who are real cosmetologists are probably laughing your asses off at me. Oh, we're getting some color now. I don't think that the luminous makeups, such as the Lunar Dust, which right there, the name tells you it's luminous. You can also see it's 
it has a sheen to it. I don't know if, um, yeah, I should probably have more of a matte um, blush. I don't typically use eyeliner. I use shadow and mascara. Actually for these videos primarily and when I go out, I do wear an eyeliner. When I do, it is Urban Decay in Bourbon Glide On Eye Pencil. But what I'm gonna do is just on my upper lid, I'm gonna put a little, um, a little eyeliner. Just for people who do regular makeup tutorials, have a whole setup. They have, you know, everything, all the lighting, and I'm looking into, you know, my my camera. I'm not looking into um, a lighted makeup mirror. <laughs> I just poked my eye. This is e.l.f. Mascara in, what is this called? This one is called Volumizing Mascara in Black. Once again, e.l.f. side. So I'm, <laughs> this is not easy to do when I'm looking this way. I don't do any of my makeup the way the um, professionals do or the way a lot of people do, but I don't care. I don't know if I would call this volumizing. I keep having to go in and getting more and get more. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Stab myself in the eye with the mascara wand. Okay, uh, it's kind of, it's building up now. I don't know if I'd call this volumizing. The reason I know volumizing mascara is because I have used brand Estee Lauder again, Sumptuous Extreme. This is a sample. One thing about when you get these high-end brands at department stores, can you see that? You also get a free gift with purchase a couple of times a year. So I wait until I buy because this Estee Lauder is quite pricey. And so like with my moisturizer that I use every day, when you reach a certain dollar amount, you get a free gift with purchase. So what I do is because Nordstrom has an Estee Lauder gift with purchase, I think twice a year. And Macy's also has the Estee Lauder gift with purchase twice a year. So um, I really hurt myself when I, when I poked my eye before. No, I got the powder in my eye. That's right. That's the Estee Lauder stuff seems so powdery. The full size comes in, it's gold and it's longer, but uh, this is the same stuff and it's the sample I got. And this one, I know very well that it is volumizing. It is a lovely mascara that I've used for years. But with the Estee Lauder, I do often uh, do the building. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Are you laughing with me? I hope you are. Okay. Um, so, since I give the Estee Lauder a couple of coats when I use it, I'm going to give the e.l.f. a second chance. Well, a second coat. Put that on my e.l.f. I... That sounds pretty elf eye. Ow, now I poked my other eye. Okay, well, I don't know elf. Can you see that the Estee Lauder eye is, is more volumizing? All right, last part, lips. Doing my lips half and half is gonna be kind of fun. Elf is called Day to Night. Day to Night Lipstick Duo, the best berries. Ooh, I like berry shades. One side is the actual lipstick. The other side, I think. Oh, wait, no. It's not, I thought it was a lip liner and a lipstick. Oh, I wonder if I didn't get a lip liner. I do have one in Estee Lauder. I wonder if I should just use that on both sides. I'll try that. My rules, right? We're having fun. We're doing new rules. This is something I used years ago that Estee Lauder is still making. It's the Automatic Lip Pencil Duo in Fig. So the way it works is on one side, 
is the twist up liner. And then the other side is the lip brush. Oh, it's gonna be tricky again. I like using, um, it's hard to see the line. Oh my God, I went over. Um, <laughs> God, I don't know. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if this is flattering on me. God, I'm getting some makeup on, huh? I don't normally wear makeup like this. I lined the whole lip in uh, the Estee Lauder. As I said on the e.l.f., the um, which I think is so cool. What it has is a lighter on this side, color for daytime. Can you see that? And that's in the, the best berries. And then on the other side, it has the night color. Ooh, that's a beautiful color. What I'm gonna do, the, my, it'll look silly, I'm sure, but I'm gonna put half my lips with the Estee Lauder color and the other half with the, the Elf. I told you about the gift with purchase Estee Lauder when you spend a certain amount of money. They don't normally come with, <laughs> with that kind of cute, little too cute for me, uh, lipstick image on it. Estee Lauder Pure Color in Envy. So this one's dark. Let me start with Elf on this side. We'll see how that comes out. I guess I'll do the night. Oh my god, I may look ridiculous. Okay. Oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> I'm kind of regretting doing this tutorial. I don't know, is this a tutorial? It's a demo. Okay, other side. Oh, that's better. Estee Lauder. <laughs> that is fun. Okay. Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy. Oh my God. I don't think I lined my lips very well. I am not a cosmetologist. What's the expression? Don't do this at home. Ah, go ahead and do it at home. So I'm going to take out my hair. <laughs> I'm still laughing at my, my lips. Anyway, so I took down my hair. I have my makeup on. I Well, I feel better than how I started. It's, it's a lot of makeup for me. I don't tend to wear a lot of makeup, but it, you know, I'm dressed up. It's kind of fun. What cracks me up though is this, um, <laughs> the one half elf lipstick and the other Estee Lauder. So that's my demo. Elf versus Estee Lauder. Leave me a comment. Let me know which side you like. Like I said, I'm kind of leaning towards a couple of the e.l.f. products. I still like Estee Lauder. I don't know if I'll abandon them, but um, the cruelty-free e.l.f. is, uh, that's important to me. So leave me a comment below, please. Give me a thumbs up if you like my tutorial, demo, whatever it is. And I hope you want to subscribe to my channel. I will be back next week with another video. Bye.